These Cajun seasoned venison smash burgers are an absolute game changer. Let's get cooking. Making these Cajun venison smash burgers starts with a little bit of prep. Start by mincing three cloves of garlic. You can substitute garlic powder for fresh garlic if you have to, but fresh garlic is gonna go a long way in this recipe. We'll also need to mince one shallot. Shallots are characterized by their sweetness compared to regular onions and will add a touch of sweetness to this recipe. Last thing we need to prep is a little bit of cheese. Literally a little bit in this case. I forgot to pick some up when I was out shopping, so we'll need to make do with what we have here. Time to assemble our patties. Start by breaking up one pound of ground venison. You'll have to shop around for venison, but any game meat like elk or bison will do the trick here. Add in your garlic and your shallots. A healthy dash of W sauce, a better tablespoon should do the trick here, and one tablespoon no sugar added ketchup. Time to season this with a homemade Cajun seasoning. We'll start with one tablespoon paprika. I use smoke for a little flavor boost. Next we'll add in one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon dried oregano, one teaspoon cayenne pepper for a little kick, half a teaspoon dried thyme, and then a mountain of fresh cracked black pepper, maybe 30 cracks or about a teaspoon and a half. With washed hands, give this a good mix to combine. The secret to juicy burgers is to not over mix your meat. Work it gently until all the seasonings are well integrated, but not overworked. Grab yourself a parchment lined baking sheet or a plate and form four even sized balls and set aside. It's just about time to head over to our cooktop. Cast iron is gonna give you the best color and texture for these burgers. So heat your largest pan over medium high heat and add in one tablespoon of neutral oil. Once your oil is hot, place one ball into the pan and smush it down with your hands or the back of a spatula depending on how risky you like to be in the kitchen. I like high risk. Smash burgers give you more texture and crunch compared to a traditional thick burger. If there's enough room, add a second ball into the pan. Allow these to cook for two to three minutes without disturbing before flipping and topping with one tablespoon of cheddar cheese. Let these cook for another two minutes or so until the cheese starts to melt and the edges begin to crisp. Remove from the pan and set aside while we prep the rest of our burger toppings. We're gonna need a bun, so let's start by cutting that in half. Then we're gonna cut two thin slices of beefsteak tomatoes, a few rounds of white onion, chop some fresh lettuce, McDonald's, style and if you're into it we're also going to want a little pickle it's time to assemble this baby bottom bun down a healthy squirt of mustard then lay a couple patties on top of it lettuce on top to help protect from the juices of the tomatoes some onion a few slices of pickle and finish off the top bun with a little more mustard and there you have it this cajun venison smash burger is my attempt at making a healthy burger venison cuts down on the fat compared to beef and the cajun seasoning packs a punch with a little bite from the cayenne pepper and smoked paprika but before we go here's a beautiful cross section I've honestly made these burgers about five times in the last two weeks and I'm gonna eat the other half of this one. But before I go, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. I put a couple more videos up here I think you're gonna enjoy. And until next time, get cooking.